Ashley, you know that hour or two of sunshine we had today. Is it too much to ask for a little bit more tomorrow? We'll get a little bit more tomorrow. Jack saw some of the summit in today. This is our time lapse from up there. We even had some visitors at our sky cam. Look at that buzzing around there. We did see some afternoon clouds. What's neat about the summit in sky cam is we were actually tracking some storms in Jefferson County made for some phenomenal sunsets across central Alabama. Even some pictures sent in through social media of double rainbow spotted across central Alabama. So even the rain brought some rainbows this afternoon and evening. Temperatures right now in Summerton sitting at 75 degrees. The rain is bleak. Just a couple of light showers right along Interstate 20 from Anniston up towards Oxford. Some light rain up towards Jacksonville. This will continue to move into Cherokee County Center. You could see a little wet weather here in the next 30 minutes, but that rain is fizzling out. Stationary boundary sits right across the state. That's one of the culprits for our active weather pattern along with this area of low pressure that has zipped across Alabama, Georgia and now moving out into the Atlantic. So guess what? This area of low pressure will then curve north, hugging the coastline, and there's a good chance this could be our next named tropical system, and it will become so we'll be watching that chance of development about 70% over the next 48 hours. No impact to Alabama, though. It's kind of left its wake for us with the rainfall earlier this week. Now we're looking at milder air temperatures in the low 70s in Coleman, close to 80 at this hour in Birmingham. And over the next 48 hours, we will start to see those rain chances diminish. Starting out in the 70s tomorrow by 9 a.m., low 80s, a mix of sun and clouds. But we'll still see plenty of peaks of sunshine to get those temperatures cranking back into the mid to upper 80s for your Thursday afternoon. An occasional shower or storm stays in the forecast, but really starting tomorrow, we're going to return to more of our summertime weather pattern, meaning just a stray thunderstorm through the afternoon, clearing out by sunset. Same story for Friday, waking up to 70s, mostly clear sky, dry start to the day, followed by a few afternoon storms, and then it's the heat and humidity. See those 90s Friday afternoon? Those temperatures are doing nothing but climbing as we move through the week, and it stays very uncomfortable and even in that oppressive category for that heat as we start the weekend and move into early next week. Our heat index values, this is feels like temperatures, will be in the lower 100s. This is the time we really need to kind of play it safe to stay hydrated, take those breaks in the afternoon if need be. Even though our seven day forecast showing some rain, these are going to be very isolated afternoon storms. Percentage coverage of rain goes down this weekend. Heat goes back and we'll really start to see that drier air diving in early next week as well. And that is a look at your storm team.